right, so we're gonna start off just by taking a look at the Mermaid Markers by Jane Davenport and the Color Institute as sold by Michaels. So these look almost identical to a traditional water brush. You have a big barrel where the ink is kept. You have a little tip here that allows the ink to flow through. And on the very bottom, you have a very traditional brush tip. And if I spread this out, you can see the actual individual bristles that we have here. So it really is, hold on, let's refocus. There we go. You can actually see the bristles in the brush tip. So to order and act to activate them, um, you just go ahead and you give them a little squeeze. So as I'm showing you as I'm swatching these out, I really want to let you know that these are less of a traditional marker and more of a liquid watercolor in a water brush form. You're going to find that really it's super fluid and super concentrated and you're going to think about it like you're actually just dipping your brush in liquid watercolors and then painting right with it. You'll see that these are really juicy and by the way this is just regular cardstock that I'm using, um, but there's a lot of color saturation in these colors. They're just really, really juicy and lovely to work with. So while my swatches are drying, I thought I would go ahead and just play a little bit on this pre, um, pre-done background. This is from, I think, a Diane Reevely pad. So it's a heavy cardstock, but it's nothing fancy. Um, and I really found that I needed to thin these down. These have so much brightness to them. Um, you can see I'm using the purple one there full strength, and it's really dark. As a matter of fact, I can go back and dip into this and, and thin it down and use it in other places. So don't be afraid to put these on a little bit of water um, and, and really thin them down so you get all of the color variations that you can, because truthfully, especially the peach that if you want to use it as a flesh tone it really does need to be thinned down a lot it takes very little of these markers in order to get that bright color saturation okay I just want to do a little bit of taking a look at the color swatches they're all on and they're all dry now and um, you can see that the colors are really vibrant you can just using the brush kind of um, you know, brush them out a little bit or layer them to get a deeper effect, but they really are quite lovely and vibrant. Now, just so you know, these will stay water reactive. The minute you spray them with water, um, they become fluid yet again. So this is great, but they just treat them like you would any other reactive watercolors. So by the way, this was on regular cardstock paper. Here's how they look on heavyweight watercolor paper. And what I did was I kind of bled them out and then I dripped some water so you could see just how much lifts off. So that's really just one drop of water that then I took a paper towel and I lifted off. And then here's where I used just a plain wet paintbrush to lift and move it around so you can see just how dissolvable it is. There is one spot here that I tried using um, one of those kind of sparkly markers. What are those things called? This is the Spectrum Noir uh, sparkle pen and it does layer very nicely with a sparkly medium if you like that kind of thing. Now one thing I found really interesting was that you can swatch them out on black paper. Now obviously this is not optimal um, but I was surprised that you do actually see all of the colors on black paper. So if you're using a, a dark surface, this is just something to keep in mind that the color will still show through a little bit. And this is perhaps my favorite way to use them. I have been doing some embossed resist. So this is embossed with white embossing powder. And then I just add a little wash of water and then a few dabs of the Jane Davenport mermaid markers. And you can see how they kind of move around and just create this absolutely gorgeous effect. So this is kind of my favorite way to use them. <laughs> now lastly, I just used one of these pre-colored sheets and I watercolored over it. Um, I mixed the colors a little bit. I diluted them with water a little bit. I added a little bit of sparkle on top a little bit. But really, um, these are a lot of fun to play with. And I think that they're very suitable for both coloring books, um, watercolor media, and your mixed media needs. 
So once again, I think these are really, really cool tools to have as long as you think of them not necessarily as a marker, but rather another way of spreading around your liquid watercolors. They do need to be diluted. They're actually kind of hard to find. They were available at Michael's and they've been out of stock recently. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this demo. If you did, please leave me a comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff and have a crafty day.